What's going on, everybody? I know it's been like a month since I last posted, but I got you with a high effort video today. Don't worry. You're going to want your BPM anywhere between 140 and 170. I'm going with, let's do 160, because why not? What makes a Snail's House song a Snail's House song, aside from his signature sounds, would be the chord progression. So here we got a very basic Snail's House chord progression. See how I'm starting the next chord right here instead of right there? I don't know. He does it a lot. He puts it like kind of a bit, a bit late. Or sometimes he does it a bit early like this. So you choose which one you want to do. But just make sure it's not right on the next chord. Otherwise, it's too boring. Okay? But don't keep your chord simple like that. Expand it. You know what I'm saying? Here, look how, look how fancy this is. Look how fancy that is. Snail's House gets a lot of inspiration from Studio Ghibli. He's like, even like one of his albums literally got like Castle in the Sky as the cover. So I'm going to make the whole like beginning of this song kind of like Studio Ghibli vibes. I'm using this like cymbal swell and some of this thing. And also this. I like, I f made the gong sound effect and then put it but then reversed it beforehand so you get like a nice transition. Add a floaty piano, something like this. Put the chords on a string. And slowly use the automation to bring it up to volume. Take that piano melody and add it to some panned strings. No matter what you do with this instrument, it sounds like studio game. Make up some pattern with this instrument. Pan some arpeggios, you gotta have one pan right and one pan left. And basically how you do this is when you go to the automation, you gotta have one going up and one going down at the same time. He also does this thing where he layers like the string and the bell at the same time. Don't forget the toy piano. For the first set of drums, you're gonna want like a pretty chill beat. With some snaps. Okay, pull up Black Diamond. You're gonna wanna make sure that you just have the tiniest bit of Porto. The tiniest bit. See that? And then you can uh, make some pattern like this. He does this pattern a lot. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you should know that Breaking Bass is my best friend. You can literally do anything with it. You want to have the glide and you got to do that so that you got the vibrato and then you can do these. Man, it's crazy. I use it for my bass, my normal bass. I also use it for my sub bass for the drop. And I also use it for the lead too. Speaking of the lead, I'm using the modern R&B because he uses a sound that's kind of like this one. And you're gonna wanna do this thing right here. The thing, see what I'm talking about? That thing, you gotta do that. Then you're gonna add this lead again, but on a different instrument and slowly raise the automation. Second beat, you're gonna want to have kicks and the snare and this height thing, and never forget the uh, maracas. So you're gonna want to bring like a snare to the sampler. I'm using the deep sleep snare. See that? Boom. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this little. You know what I mean? And then same idea, but this time with toms. Get yourself some risers. Okay, now this part's next level. Watch this. You do that thing. Then what you do is you move it to match the very beginning of the measure. And you're going to make it fit perfectly. On By the way, I'm using future strings. Then you're going to copy the whole chord. Copy that thing. And then you're going to open it up. Delete the note you just made. And paste it. Hey, cameraman, Boom. you getting this, bro? Listen nice to that little. sound. Tell me that doesn't sound Boom. like snail sound. You're going to do that oh for all God. the other notes. Now you're going to record oh, this. Yeah. Then you're gonna record that thing. Doing? Why he moving Shift it, it like that? Make it fit oh, perfectly. Oh, the garage band screws it in. It's pretty clean Boom. though. Now you're gonna merge it. Oh, he's merging merge that with the effects. Yeah, Can y'all shut like, up for a so second? I sliced I can't it up hear. a bit. My bad. Oh. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what's going on. Added another layer of future strings. White noise. Cymatics has some really good free kicks and perks, snares, all that good stuff. I recommend you go on the website and download this stuff. It's clutch for making your beat sound pretty good. Uh, this is, oh, whoops, 
This is what I have for my beat, my drop. Not all of this was from Cymatics. Some of this was like this breath drop, but I download or the breath Vox, but I downloaded a lot of these sound effects off online, like the water droplet and the bed squeaking thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, you want this thing. And some other arpeggios. Uh, you're going to want two kinds of boomers. The classic white noise. And then like a low, very deep low boomer. Hi-hats. I mean, these really shouldn't be too complex. You're going to want this one part. Where you side chain the piano. Make this thing. I think he likes trains. And also birds. Oh yeah, and he also does this twinkling chime thing. That wasn't too bad, right? I mean, I made the video really easy for you guys to follow along, so just thank me in the comments. You should have something that sounds like this.